Hi, my name is Penny Metzger, here from the Office of Instructional Technology at the University of New Orleans, and today we are going over how to add a choice in Moodle. Choice can function in a variety of ways, but people most often use it as a poll or a way to let students pick topics for a project. Let's enter the course you'd like to work on. Today, I'll be working in the Moodle Training Sandbox. I'm going to go ahead and dock my navigation bar just to give me more room on the screen. If you need help with docking, we have a link to that video in the description. Now to create our choice, we'll first need to turn our editing on. Once we see the place to add an activity or resource, we're going to click on that. And then from our list of activities, select Choice. Now click Add. And the first thing I'm going to do is click Expand All here in the top right corner. Next, I'm going to give my choice a name. And a short description. When I scroll down, it'll ask me if I want to display my options horizontally or vertically. I prefer vertically, but this is personal preference. Underneath, we have options. It asks you if you want to allow the choice to be updated. It is automatically set to be no, but you can change it to yes depending on the purpose of your poll. Next, it asks if you want to limit the number of responses allowed. This is helpful if you want to assign topics for a project. Say, for example, you have a class of 30 students and 15 topics, and you would like them to work in groups of two. What you would do is just change the limit from no to yes. This will allow you to change your limits, and you'd set each to two. And you'd add in your options. and you would keep going until you'd created your 15 options. This will only allow two students to pick every option, automatically putting them in groups of two. You can apply this same theory to large groups or individual meetings. Scrolling down, we see a place for availability. This allows to restrict the time frame which they have to enter. Next, we see results. You can choose to not publish your results to students, to show the results after they answer, to show the results only after the choice is closed, or to always show the results. Then it asks about privacy, whether you want to publish them anonymously or with names. I publish with names if I'm assigning topics for a project. That way, students know who they're working with. Below, these options are considered advanced, and if you need any help with those, just contact our office. Now I'm going to save and return to course. And I should see my choice. A student entering this course will click on that choice, and it will appear like this, where they select an option and then click Save My Choice. And that is the basics of adding choices in Moodle. 